hello agents and welcome to another division 2 video two days ago i recorded the last manhunt gameplay mission general anderson uploaded it on youtube and a couple of you remember me and my channel and i get some really nice comments i just want to say i appreciate very much what you write down below that video there was also one comment requesting the build i was using a little bit more in a detail so today i'm going to try to explain you how i'm using this heartbreaker build and uh, what's the crazy synergy between the items in this build i didn't do a build video <laughs> more like more than a year so don't be too harsh to me if some things are not going to be explained as intended but i'll really try to do my best to show you what i'm running it's not a new build it's a build that exists for a long time probably since the heartbreaker came out and uh, all the way since then i'm using it for whatever i need in the game if i don't want to die and i have to do a content quickly uh, i'm using this build no dying but basically don't waste time dying use this build that's the title of the video and that really is i mean that like 100 percent i tried a lot of other builds during the game I, I'm, I was player from the division one and i have more than 2000 hours in the division two like full weapon damage build six core red builds i mean nothing can compare to this because from time to time if you're using all red you are gonna die enemy is gonna flank you not gonna see them and these situations are gonna be like the, the worst possible you are gonna go down so to cut the story short uh, let's get to the build and first i'm gonna show you the specialization i'm using technician specialization that's the one part that is important uh, and it gives a lot of synergy and survivability to this build uh, most important part it's plus one skill tier and the second most important thing with specialization it's this attachment it's technician laser pointer that pulses targets at which is aimed under our attachment for long rails according to that i choose the weapons i am running it with the smg vector 45 and the police m4 both of those weapons have ability to attach the laser last pointer okay so basically that's it how the synergy goes it, first thing it's plus one skill tier memento will give you another skill tier and uh, you are going to get crazy great shield with this basically and uh, a lot of armor cores in the build you are going to have tier 6 shield uh, this shield it got almost 5 million health so basically that's the thing which is going to give you crazy survivability uh the other thing which is also in synergy with these two things it's the heartbreaker build basically if we check out the talents of the heartbreaker on the west uh, it's gonna say that increases max tax for heartstopper from 50 to 100 uh, what is heartstopper it's a four piece heartbreaker talent which said hatchet supply pulse for five seconds but most important thing is weapon hits on pulsed enemies at the stack of plus one percent bonus armor and plus one percent damage to pulsed enemies up to max of 50 stacks uh, you are just emphasizing this to 100 stacks by running the armor of the heartbreaker the chest armor i mean because this talent increases stacks from 50 to 100 uh, if you translate this uh, you are getting like 100 uh, percent armor region basically bonus armor and you are getting like crazy stack of 100 percent damage you also have to say that uh, stacks are lost each second so basically as long as you are shooting you are building up your damage and you are building uh, your bonus armor uh, that also 
is in synergy with the Memento backpack, which is one of the best in slot backpacks in the game. Uh, best thing that it gives you is three cores. You have weapon damage core, armor core and one skill tier core. Uh, talent of the Memento, you probably all know. Enemies who kill drop a trophy on that, collecting trophies provide both a short and long term buff. The first of which scales with the number of core attributes equipped and less 10 seconds. Uh, you have like plus 5% weapon damage, plus 10% bonus armor and plus 5% skill efficiency. For every trophy collected you are gaining additional plus 1 weapon damage and plus 1 skill efficiency and plus 0.1 armor regeneration for 300 seconds. Maximum it's 30 stacks. Once you pick up 30 trophies you are gonna be in a god mode uh, you are going to have so much bonus armor and armor regeneration because these three things working in synergy are insane uh, every enemy you are aiming at its pulse immediately that immediately activates the heartbreaker talents and uh, with the memento bonuses i mean this build got crazy survivability crazy damage once it's stack up and uh, like god tier shield like six tier shield you see that skill tier here is two so i'm gonna start with the uh, weapons and uh, you're gonna see that i'm running vector 45 why this one because it got that ability to put the link laser attachment on it so my other mods on this one i don't know what's going on okay crit chance crit damage technician laser pointer and uh, extended mag plus 20 rounds you see it's a god roll i invested every optimization point into this build you see that almost all of my items are level 17 it's additional 17 percent weapon damage uh it's rolled usually smg crit chance and damage to target out of cover and i'm running fast hands i cannot emphasize enough that this is probably the best talent for a smg because reload it's like second and uh, you are getting crazy sustained dps and that's it uh, on top of that it's uh, 1200 rpm with a mega 45 this thing shreds and it's great for stacking up the heartbreaker stacks basically it's prob it's maybe better than the shotgun probably we are stacking faster uh my basically primary weapon which i'm using the most is police m4 i know it's probably not the best base damage assault rifle in the game but on the other hand i really like the feeling of that rifle it's crazy good in close range it's awesome in mid-range and it also very very precise on a long range basically how i'm playing with this build is that i'm just taking my distance at first until i stack up everything and after everything is stacked up i'm just face tanking anything in the game without any problem of course if i'm playing solo so that's the mode how i'm playing with this build it's really really high survivability and crazy damage build and uh, any content you are gonna do with this solo it's 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 gonna be easy basically easy heroic missions are like piece of cake i mean nothing can really stop you you just br run through the mission uh police m4 this is actually a god rolled one uh, assault rifle damage health damage and damage to target tide of cover with the ability to re-roll any talent that i want on this rifle if you are looking for a assault rifle or any other type of weapon you want to have weapon damage whatever health damage or crit chance on smg and damage to target out of cover and then you will have ability to reroll any talent in the game you want this one got flatline which goes in synergy with the heartbreaker again it amplifies weapon damage by 15 percent to pulsed enemies after three kills supplies pulse to the next enemy you hit basically on top of all the damage you're getting from heartbreaker from the memento stacks you're also getting 15 percent to pulse enemies you can also run this with the fast hands 
you're not gonna go wrong with that actually I was recording mission two days ago with the fast hands it everything works great you cannot miss with these two talents uh, okay let's go piece by piece it's a heartbreaker mask on top of everything else I forgot to mention uh, four piece heartbreak and talents are 15% assault rifle damage 15% LMG damage 15% weapon handling and finally the heart stopper talent which I already described uh, so the mask is armor crit damage and the mod is crit damage the vest heartbreaker armor crit damage crit damage gloves armor crit chance the knee pads weapon damage crit damage okay so this is the four piece heartbreaker i'm running the cheska holster with weapon damage crit damage crit chance and additional 10 percent crit chance because it's a cheska piece and i already described what memento brings into this build you see almost all the items are level 17 except the holster i also invested in the shield that is why it's so crazy like good and give you great survivability and i'm usually running with the reviver hive you can use any other skill if you want but just in case if you go crazy and you are going down this is going to revive you and you are not going to have to repeat the mission it's going to save you a lot of times pistol whatever you like busy little b i also have to mention if you're using the card ca card 45 custom tdi card custom you are going to get another skill tier when you're using the pistol it goes also in synergy with the shield so if you have missions that you need to use only pistol it can happen in projects or wherever then you can also use this build the uh, damage is awesome and survivability is even more awesome you will get another skill tier you see now it's three skill tier so i'm just using this a little bit but basically not using pistol at all so that's it uh, if i forgot something okay yeah uh, you can see how many cores this build has i have three pieces of heartbreaker rolled armor and i have like two pieces uh one piece heartbreaker weapon damage cheska is weapon damage and then here you have all three cores like weapon damage armor core and uh skill core so basically this build has like uh, actually two skill cores four armor cores and three weapon damage cores if i count correctly it should be nine cores right like nine cores in the build crazy crazy synergy with this build and basically that's it guys uh hope you enjoyed in this video i really try to do my best uh, it's not pre-scripted video i just doing this from my head recording it and uh, that's it uh i'm gonna upload my last bounty before the last manhunt mission also after this video i was also using this build and basically i can do some some bounty or something to show you true power of this one don't waste time dying use this build and i'll see you guys in my next video